Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Translate so you can best take advantage of all the useful tools that it has when learning a language. And make sure you stick around to the end because I can give you some bonus tips to make it way more likely to get the translation you're actually looking for. So let's dive in. Hey, I'm Genevieve from Break Out and Speak, language coach trying to help you learn a language way easier and make more fun. So Google Translate is a really helpful tool, but there are a lot of features that it has that people don't usually use, which actually could save you a lot of time and come in handy. And I have some tips to make sure you actually get what you're trying to search for. So in this video, first I'm gonna show you how to use Google Translate. Then I'll get into all the features and sprinkle throughout, throw in some tips on how to use it better. Up here are the languages that you can translate to. You click this, it expands into many options and ever expanding, which is even better. Let's say, um, and you can also type it in up here at the top, Spanish. Now it will be English to Spanish, unless you want to switch easily with these two arrows. So let's look up how to say ice cream because ice cream is delicious. <laughs> and why not? So it'll give you some examples. One tip though, always play the audio. Helado. So you know what it sounds like. So what if you come across a word and you're not sure what language it is? Google Translate has you covered. Come over here to detect language. You can write it in or paste it wherever you found it. And now you can see that it automatically detects that that was French. But let me show you three helpful tools that Google Translate has that can make your life easier and then I'll get into how to use it even better. So just come over here to this microphone looking icon, click on it and everything that you say instantly gets translated quickly into the language, which can be a way to really save you some time. So the desktop version and the mobile version are almost the same, but the mobile version has a couple of additional features that are really super cool, but I'll make a separate video on that if you want. Another useful tool that Google Translate has that they added relatively recently is you can translate a website directly from the site. Now you can paste the website, but actually I did a video on how you can translate a website directly from the website, which then you don't have to go back and forth. Check that out if you want, but this is an option. Another tool that Google Translate has that can come in handy is the ability to translate documents. So if you go over here to where it says documents, you can translate a document, PowerPoint, even a PDF into another language. So now that you know how to use some of the really handy features that Google Translate has, let me show you how to use it even better, okay? To make it way more likely to get the translation you're actually looking for. So Google Translate is like a machine, a very intelligent machine, but still a machine. So what you put into it determines what it spits back out at you. So to increase your chances of making it way more likely to actually get the translation you're looking for, let me give you a couple tips. If you're new here, make sure to stick around and subscribe. Join the fam. So let's take the example of the word play in Spanish. Now, this could be the right translation, but what are you looking for? To play a sport? To play an instrument? A theatrical play? Now, Google Translate doesn't know what you're actually looking for. So, big tip. To increase your chances of getting the translation you're looking for, you have to add a little bit of context. So for example, I play soccer is going to be different than I play the guitar is going to be different than I go to a play. Okay. But now you have different options to make sure it is way more likely to get what you're actually looking for. So with a little bit more context, you're on the right path to being closer to the translation that you're actually looking for and can at least lessen the likelihood of getting a translation that would be worthy of a Google Translate parody video. So just to note, the quality of the translation can differ depending on the language. And now the good news though is I've definitely seen an improvement in the quality of the translations in at least the romance languages, which are the ones I'm familiar with over the past years. Not perfect, but definitely a big improvement from before. So Google Translate is not perfect. It's a good start, 
Is it helpful? Yeah, for sure. Was it better than zero? Oh, yeah, of course. However, if you want to make sure that you are on the right track, let me give you an extra bonus tip for an app to check out where you can connect with native speakers. So actually something I really would love is if you tell me your Google Translate stories. I'm a little afraid to ask, but it'll be fun. Come on, check out Hi Native. Hi Native is a cool app where if you maybe you use Google Translate and you get back a translation and you're not exactly sure if that's what people actually say, pop over to Hi Native and you can actually ask. It's a little bit like a forum where you post a question and then native speakers of that language can help you out and tell you if you're on the right track and if that indeed is how you say the phrase that you're looking for, which is really cool and can be really helpful. So let me quickly show you how to use Hi Native to make sure you're getting the translation you want and actually connect with native speakers who speak the language. So over here in search, let's say I want to know how to say what's up. I have it set to Spanish. They have different countries as well. And now you can see some posts of what other humans <laughs> have responded on how do you say what's up, which can really come in handy. And if you happen to not get what you're looking for, you can always ask your own question. And if you notice, it says, how do you say, might be pronunciation, the difference between two terms, or what something means. So high native can be really helpful and kind of cool and can help you out when you're not exactly sure if the translation you get from Google Translate or another machine translator is on point. So if you found this useful, let me know. And also let me know what you'd like me to cover in a future video. So happy language learning and catch you soon.